Hit Attorney at Chocolate Magazine. Wow. I still can't believe it. And you're Kanan Steele. CEO, <laughs> excuse me, former CEO of Steele Publications. So now we got our subtle pleasantries out the way, like we don't know each other. You summoned me here. And you know I don't like to be summoned. That's cute. But you see, in life, we all have to deal with things that we don't like. Even some things that we hate. Hell, I hate racists, but yet their mayonnaise, sunburned looking asses still walk the streets. What do you want, Kane? For you to do what you do best. Give me the fuck out of here. your number cause I got what you need, what you need. I don't need nobody Body. cause everybody comes, to, comes me. to me comes in different flavors but I like mine hot and sweet, sweet. what's your charm yeah. special dark or mocha white or whipped and cream comes in different flavors but I like mine hot and sweet What's your choice? Your child. Me out, girl. Hi. Naomi 
Vance Step. What's good, baby girl? Vance Martin. You coming in? Back in the day, you used to handle your shit. I give you that. Tell me this. How the hell did you get so damn sloppy? Look, nigga. I ain't called you down here for a walk down memory lane, I ate. I need you to get me off the hook from this Chloe Sinclair bullshit. And exactly why would I help you? Because I ain't fucking kill nobody, that's why. <laughs> you know this is a lot easier if you're honest with me, right? Look, Chloe Sinclair is nothing more, nothing less than some chick that I was smashing, all right? She wanted something serious and I wasn't prepared to offer her that. So? So, I was working late one night, I woke up, falling asleep, went down to the studio and found her dead body. necklace and the phone of a dead woman get in your drawer. Shit, I don't know. Somebody planted it. <laughs> Look, Kane, if you're not gonna give me the truth and the whole truth, I'll walk out that door right now. You can handle this shit on your own. So if we do a test on her for the baby that she's pregnant with, it will come back yours? Look, nigga, I know Chloe Sinclair wasn't just some random chick. She was your assistant. And not only was she pregnant, she had the same grade of cocaine assistant that you had in yours when you was arrested. Am I getting any fucking warmer? You know what? I ain't got time for this shit. For all I know, you killed her in some cocaine-driven rage. Now you want me to come in here and clear some junkie's mess? You got it, bro. You ain't home. Look, you better find time. Now sit your ass down. Don't you forget that you owe me. Got a text from Abel saying he wants to meet up little. And I should care why? Damn. My bad. Recovering alcoholic. I'm so sorry. So 
I've been meaning to reach out to you for a while now. I'm so sorry for your loss. When I heard about what happened to your brother, and then your fiance leaving you. Yeah. Look, how are you doing? I mean, really. Honestly, I don't know how the fuck I feel. Some days seem better than others. Other days, I feel like I'm drowning. The grieving process, it's a bitch. Hell yeah. I'm surprised you called me though. Considering the history with me and your in-laws. Ex-in-laws. <laughs> Look, whatever's going on between the Martin and the Still families, that ain't got shit to do with me. We've always had our own separate, special kind of relationship. Aside from all the bullshit that constantly infiltrates our lives. So with that being said, whatever you need from me, however you need me, I'm here for you. Thank you, Naomi. Good looking now, bro. What's going on? So, my attorney is meeting with your ex-husband at the prison. Like that no good nigga gonna get himself out after all. this why does it matter if I did it or not to you I mean after all you are known for getting killers off the hook right by the way how is Vince I heard he's in AA is this really a road you want to go down you know the statement you signed all the insurance I need. Unless you plan on perjuring yourself. Perjury? <laughs> Nigga, I'm being charged with murder. Perjury ain't shit. And besides, I wonder how Detective Chase would feel if he were to find out that. Vince was the one that killed his little sister all those years ago. And who exactly gonna believe a junkie already going down for murder? Well, I mean, to be honest, I only really need one person to believe me. You know, it's all starting to come back now. Celebrate. It's just too bad that poor Nikki had to pay the price. You need to shut the fuck up. Did I just like a 
earth counselor? Yeah, I think I did. Well, you know, even more of it, it's starting to come back now. Yeah. Yeah, Nikki, she was always known as the, the drunk of the party. Hell, I even knew I was gonna get lucky that night. That's why I was trying to leave early. So dope. She had the dopest car. So imagine my surprise when I see that dope car ran into a tree. Yeah. I was like, oh no, Nikki. Oh no, Nikki. And in fact, oh no, it wasn't Nikki. It's Vince fucking Martin. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, your golden child, Vince. So, you know who showed up next? Yeah. Who showed up next? You motherfucker. You show up. Pulling Vince from behind the driver's seat. Putting poor Nikki there. Shit. Singing with no auto tune. <laughs> yeah, that's what the fuck I thought. Now get me the fuck out of here.
Man, I know you can put more weight on than that. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Abel Steele, how are you? Pastor Chase. <laughs> how you doing, good brother? I'm good, how are you? Man, uh, hold on. Should I be saying uh, Chase now? So you heard, huh? Of course. Bishop Miles sent all the pastors an email. Let us know that you left the church. <sighs> Step down. Mm. I didn't leave the church, I left God. I just... I just need some time to regroup. Going through a lot right now. Brother, Alyssa was a good woman. I always kept a smile on her face, praising her lips. I, mean, I didn't mean to trouble you or anything. No, 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 no. Not at all, man. I just don't know what to say. I mean, you can give her all the accolades, but it doesn't bring my wife back at the end of the day. Sometimes you just don't understand God's plan. <laughs> God's plan. <laughs> really, Abel? That's something you tell your church members at your church when they're going through something. God's plan doesn't bring my wife back. Brother, we, we got to practice what we preach. Just because we're clergy, it don't mean I can go through trials and tribulations. You got to have faith. Believe. Really? Aren't you thinking about leaving the church? Or haven't you left the church already? It's complicated, okay? Complicated? How's it complicated, Pastor? What, did your wife die like mine? Going through something? Midlife crisis? How's it complicated, Pastor? I don't feel like I belong, okay? Steel Industries, that's what I wanted. But when I couldn't get it, I ran. I ran to somewhere I felt appreciated. Made me feel important. Well, you know, being a pastor is not about just doing sermons on Sunday mornings and baptizing children. You know, it's a commitment. It's a lifestyle. And that's something we're both struggling with right now. You're right. We got a lot in common, Chase. Yeah, I guess we do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, how is my brother Kane? You really want to know? Yeah, you know. I mean, we don't got much of a relationship, but still my little brother. Your brother sitting comfortably in a tiny little cell with barely any light. Oh, and Kane going down for that murder. You know that, right? I mean, he a lot of things, but... He is. You know, that's another thing we have in common. My brother Troy was one of the biggest drug dealers this city has ever seen. And every time I try to stray him away from the streets, the streets always has a way of calling him back. Over and over again. It just never stops. Seems like Troy and Kane need to be in the same cell. That's what it's looking like. I gotta find Troy first. What? He, he, he missing? Yeah, but something tells me, regardless of the outcome, it's not going to be a good one. Mm. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go, brother. You sure, man? Yeah. Huh? Stay up. Okay. Maxwell Crawford. Hello, Max. Excuse me? This is Maxwell. Who is this? Abigail Steele. Kane's little sister. Mm. Don't hold it against me. And what do you want? Well, what if I told you that I have information about a murder? Who'd you kill? What? Me? No. I, 
I didn't, I didn't murder anyone. No, I have information about someone who committed a murder. If you're going to tell you're calling the wrong person, you should be calling the police or the DA. Good day. But the information is about my brother, your client. I mean, you are representing him now, right? That's what I heard. Got your attention now. So let me get this right. You have information on my client committing a murder and instead of calling a DA, you call his defense attorney? <laughs> Come on, Abby, I just knew you were smarter than this. When you call my phone asking for Max, You've killed somebody. So let me ask you again. Who'd you kill, Abby? Camille, could you come here for a moment? Are you still dating a computer geek from the cyber unit? No, we broke up a week ago. Sorry to hear that. Uh, I need you to call him and have him do us a favor. Max, I can't just call him asking for favors after we've broken up already. Just give him some. Why do you think I hired you? Look, I need you to have this information sent to me by 12 o'clock. I'm sending it over now. You can go. drunk out of our minds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad the little four-eyed Ronnie was sweet enough to give us a ride. Mm. Yeah, but the entire ride home, I kept catching his eyes trailing down my shirt. Bitch, I should have put your ass in the front seat. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, honey. Uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. Now, he cute and sweet, but a little weird. Mm -hmm. But, um, no. Matter of fact, he had all eyes on you. Mm -hmm. All four of them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, you stupid. You went, what the hell is in this class? I don't even got the same thing. <laughs> yeah, girl. Those were the good times back then. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wait. Wasn't that when you were feeling Vance? Right. You know, I saw him earlier today. What? Honey, do mm -hmm. tell. Do tell. Ain't mm. shit to tell. Girl, nothing happened. Even though I was ready, willing, and able. You just wasn't interested. I bet you was, but um, you always had the sweet tooth of Vance. Hmm, yeah. Too bad I settled for Kane. Hmm. We both settled. You and Max still having problems? Girl, we never stopped. 
Being married to Max is a nightmare. Then why are you still with him? Why not? I mean, he's rich, powerful, mm -hmm. smart, good looking, powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm saying like, but a small part of me still love him though. Mm -hmm. But you got to do what you got to do to get what you want. I did. And I lost. Lost? Mm hmm Oh, hell no. Not the Naomi I know that would not let anything, especially a man, stop her from anything. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Girl, you better get back in there and fight and do what you got to do to get what you want. You got to do what you got to do. By any means necessary? Yes, by any means necessary. Definitely. Yeah. Hmm. Miss girl. <laughs> One thing as a woman, you know that we have everything that we need. And it's called pussy power. <laughs> <laughs> and um you need to get your power back. Here. What's this? Girl, being married to Max has taught me a big thing. Besides existing and just being a trophy, you need to live a little bit. You know, have a little fun, live life. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking about that escort? Yeah. I remember you telling me about him a couple months ago, how this man just gave you the best time of your life. Girl, did he? Mm. <laughs> he was life. Like, I'm saying, like, everything he did to my body was so electrifying. Oh, girl, mm. I need some electricity to flow through my body right now. <laughs> Child, give me the damn electric chair, okay? Yes, girl, just call that number. Like, mm hmm. Girl, are you serious? Yes. Mm. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Is this the same one? The same one that you had? Oh, hell no! Bitch, I don't want that! Why the hell do you can take it? I'm telling you, it's okay. We ain't doing nothing, we good. You go ahead, have your fun. Even if it's an hour or two, baby. He will do that. Inside and out. <laughs> okay. Are you sure you don't mind me and him? No, I do not. Besides, I need to prove that uh, some people's spots don't change anyway. Uh-huh. What that mean? Hmm. Never mind. Don't even worry about that, that I said that. Just call the number and have fun. But I need you to do one thing for me, though. Don't tell him that I sent you. Okay. But have fun. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. Oh, girl, I plan to, girl. It's been a while. This <laughs> the tide webs up out of here. Guess what? I'm going to sip to that. Okay, me too, bitch. <laughs> Power. All right. <laughs> Something, okay? Who was the last person in your room with you? Naomi. She came over so that we can. Yeah, yeah. Also, I received an interesting phone call from your little sister today, claiming to have information on the murder. Now I'm assuming she's talking about you. Why would she call me knowing I'm representing you and not the DA trying the case? Because they conniving asses is behind all of this shit. Fucking Abby and Naomi. Fuck. Well, he's now we get the evidence retested. Point the finger at those two. Nah. You sure? I'm sure. Get the evidence retested. Just to prove that my fingerprints weren't on the items. But you let me handle those two bitches.
Abelson still. Being smart. What's up, man? Come on in, bro. Good to see you, bro. Been a minute. Yes, sir. Have a seat. So we'll bring your ass to my side of town. Look, man, I know there's a lot of history you know, between our families. My father, your father, the beef between you and Cain. Asshole. Sorry. Don't apologize on my account. We in the same boat when it comes to him. Well, but I'm here because you're the only one that can help me do what I need to do. And that is? I want my family company. I want my rightful place on the throne. And what am I supposed to do to help you with that? Well, obviously I don't have enough money. But if I can get Abby to take Steel Industries public, Chocolate can come in and buy a majority of the shares. Making Chocolate a majority owner. Then y'all can make me CEO. Hey, hey, look, man, I like that you're finally trying to step into your work, bro. And I wish there was something I could do to help. I mean, really, sticking it to Kane? But, but you can't, huh? Unfortunately, Chocolate is not in position to make any major acquisitions or takeovers right now. I see. I appreciate you hearing me out at least. Look, man. It's gonna sound crazy, especially coming from me. But the war I seen brewing between you and your brother from the sidelines, it's a lot like me and Dylan. Damn, man. I forgot you just recently lost your brother. Yeah. And here I am just going on and on. We both know Kane is a self-righteous, pompous, arrogant piece of shit. But that's your family, your brother, your blood. If there's anything you can do to make things right between y'all two, do it. Wish I could have. about to get real interesting. You down to take a ride with me? Trust me, you're gonna wanna say yes. <sighs> Today was such a stressful day. Mm, working with incompetent idiots. And that punk ass lawyer, he's just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the spot. <clears throat> you got any other spots you want me to hit? You already know. <laughs> This is still. Oh, what the fuck? My client has maintained and held true to his innocence the entire time. We're just glad that justice finally prevailed and the DA did the right thing and dropped the charges. Now he can go home and live his life like a normal man and put this nightmare behind him. Mr. Steele, do you have a comment? I, uh. I would like to give my deepest condolences to the family of Chloe Sinclair. You're in my thoughts and prayers. But trust me when I say this. Justice will be served. <laughs>
Mr. Steel, 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 Mr.
No. Mm -hmm. It's about what I want and what I like right now. I run this shit. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, I like that. No mm -hmm. it's just my command. I'm coming for what's mine. <laughs> Yo, you funny as shit right now. But you don't want to do this. You don't want to pick a fight. You lose every time. Not this time, little brother. Mm. See, this is not a fight. This is war. And the war can just be good. What you think gonna happen next? Honestly, I really don't care. As long as it don't mess with what we got going on in chocolate. We? Of course. It's always gonna be me and you, brother. Tell them, hold on. Hey. Trust the water getting deeper, baby. Hope oh, my love don't drown. Cause it ain't no way. The fact that we can feel the pressure coming. I knew that I was bumping way before I had it jumping. Tell them, hold on. Hey. Trust the water getting deeper, baby. Hope oh, my love don't drown. Cause it ain't no way. The people running, we just started something. The way we balling, that you never knew we came from nothing. Next time. On what you? your child. How you stay away from my window? Still don't know who the face of the Marcos is. But we do know the face of the Martins. What you drink? Some chocolate. <laughs> wow, girl. You brought me all the way here to this fancy ass restaurant just to tell me you breaking up with me? And I know y'all sleeping together too. Boy, if fans knew. Please pour me a drink. Maxwell Crawford, attorney at law. It seems like every other day I seem to lose a friend. Uh -huh. Nobody died, it's just I'm growing wise to your intent. Uh -huh. You see me getting mine and start to question your percent. As if it's not enough, use my name to get up in this bitch. Damn. And bad energies and need, then there's no need for me. No need. I had to reevaluate and find the keys for me. Uh -huh. Got model chickens cooking grits and rolling weed for me. So sacrificing that to fuck with you and how I'ma let it be. Cause life is too short. Yeah. My bank just got bigger. Yo. I done met 30 niggas that claim that they know Jigga. 45 more that they claim that they know cold. But if you ain't passing my tape, what you telling me that for? I done thought out every lyric and divvied out my soul. But Fuck it, man, I'm stuck in the South. They, they want a party. party. But watch this how I string them along. I'm getting naughty. I'll tie the ends, I'm good with the net. I'm, I'm catching bodies. Hold on. Hold on. Just the water getting deeper, baby. Hope my love don't drown. Cause it ain't no way. The clock is sitting, feel the pressure coming. I knew that I was bumping way before I had it jumping. Tell them, hold on. Hey. Just the water getting deeper, baby. Hope my love don't drown. Cause no it way. ain't no way. And we just started they something know. The way we balled and neck You never knew we came from nothing I had to tell them Choose what side you're from Choose your side I'm now forever Follow me and see When your heart should be They ain't in I know Never be these other stars that cop these foreign cars. I might just steal your bike, you know the Give way I got handlebars. My shit is illy, and these other niggas coming short. Sure, like, call me good on talent, but you lacking on the hustle bar. You bagging dimes at 29, I did that shit at 9. This ain't just rap, go ask my uncle if you think I'm lying. They say we awful, we just trying to keep our mouthful from where survival is doubtful. They jump you in and they out you, oh Lord. Just the one that you can leave, my baby. Love don't drown, cause it ain't no way The clock is sick and feel the pressure come